And they're off Tuscan Gal from mid pack for the lead. Dover Miss up on the outside. On the inside is Southwind Wasabi as they trot into the opening turn. And Tuscan Gal takes an easy early lead for Trevor Ritchie. Yursa Hanover is settled on the pylons from fourth. August Revenue leaning in there on the opening turn. Gaps back in fifth will bearing in. Timeless winner two looks to move around her. Then two lengths further back to Neath Song. And at the tail of the field, I wanted wings is the trailer. They're strung out a bit here. And Tuscan Gal is up and on the bit. Two and a half lengths in front. The quarter and 28 seconds flat. Dover Miss in the two-hole second. Two lengths further back to Southwind Wasabi. Yursa Hanover riding the pylons. Behind the top trio is fourth. Then it's Timeless Winter two with the front draft in fifth. August Revenue is gap back six. Trying to get around her is Neath Song. And I wanted wings in a tough spot early at the back. Waiting for cover flow to go as they move toward the half-mile marker. And still showing the way is Tuscan Gal. A length and a half clear of the pocket sitter Dover Miss. Underway up on the outside is Southwind Wasabi first over. They reach the half and 58 and one and second up is Yursa Hanover is tracking cover as they hit the turn. Timeless winner two is third over and Southwind Wasabi goes right around Tuscan Gal. Southwind Wasabi leads it by two with three eights to go. Yursa Hanover on the outside ranging up first over second. Timeless winner two is following her and Dover Miss is locked in and shuffled back on the inside with no place to go. Neath Song has moved up fourth as Tuscan Gal tires badly and Dover Miss is still trapped in behind her. I wanted wings on the outside and August Revenue three deep from the back three quarters and 128 and three and Yursa Hanover is moving up to challenge Southwind Wasabi and these two are stride for stride with an eighth of a mile to go Southwind Wasabi leads it Yursa Hanover drifted in just a bit trying to re-rally on the outside timeless winner two coming on on the outside third Southwind Wasabi dead game Yursa Hanover forging to the front and then timeless winner two they're heading down to the finish it's very tight on the line timeless winner two and Yursa Hanover to get Southwind Wasabi third. I wanted wings. Finish fourth. 156 and two. Southwind Wasabi leads it. Yursa Hanover drifted in just a bit, trying to re rally on the outside. Timeless winner two coming on on the outside third. Southwind Wasabi dead game. Yursa Hanover forging to the front, and then Timeless winner two. They're heading down to the finish. It's very tight on the line. Timeless winner two and Yursa Hanover together. Southwind Wasabi third. I wanted wings. Finish fourth. Exact accommodation three and four, $360. The three, four, one try, $691.60. For a one dollar ticket. And the one dollar pick three of five, eight, and three pays three hundred three dollars and seventy cents. Well, we have a tight photo in the second race, and once again, the front end didn't last here. Daniel Dubé, Yursa Hanover, what happened here in the race? Tuscan Gal, the five, came back into the field, took us uh, to the top of the stretch here, three-quarter pole. Where were you with number three, Yursa Hanover? When I, I follow Cat when you move at the half, and uh, after that, he clear, and she, I, I end up first stop, and she keep going, you know? And then here comes time was winner, too. You had to dig in here to the wire, you and Yannick to the wire together. Yeah, you know, I, try, I, know I tried to chase her just to make sure we picked the right pose for her. Next week, you know. Yeah, nice filly. Yeah, the first time, uh, first time you handled her. Yeah, Ben told me she's doing nothing wrong. Yeah, you know? she's good. <laughs> okay, Daniel Dubé. Let me talk to Ben here. Benoit Bajeron and Yursa Hanover. After that effort, I was surprised to see only one win on her car. But you said she's coming around pretty good, huh? Yeah, she was a late bloomer. She had some uh, curve issue there earlier this summer, and uh, she was late to come around. Eh? But her last few races were real good. Like she was third and second in the Goldsmith there. And uh, it was pretty impressive, and uh, I knew she'd come. She's coming around. It seems like she likes the front end to be a race up forwardly placed. Well, she's such a handy mare. She's very smart, and she drives two finger. I told Danny, whatever you want to do, get her in position where let's try to make the final. Is your brother Mario coming down to watch the finals? Maybe drive a little bit? Oh no, Danielle will do the driving. Okay. What about her chances in the final? Well, right now uh, she's the fastest so far, and she come first up. The other division on a honorable daughter look good on paper. Well, she's Andy, so that gives her a, a hedge on 27-4 last quarter is nice too. Yeah, she'll be better next week. Okay, good luck in the final. Thank you.